Hey now, and welcome down to KC Toy Reviews. We are here today with the Hot Toys Batgirl from the Batman Arkham Knight video game series. Absolutely amazing game, but in front of us is an absolutely amazing one six scale figure. This thing is incredible. However, I believe that Hot Toys made one glaring misstep. If you're at least curious what that is, stay tuned. But as always, let's go ahead and dive right in. Wow, this thing is absolutely incredible. You know, I say this sometimes, whether it's through the lens or in front of me, the face, kind of the, the chin sculpt of it, I mean, it looks borderline real, and especially in the right lighting and with professional photography. I know mine's, you know, not nearly as professional as some out there, but um, the face and the chin and the head sculpt on this thing is, is truly original. It doesn't have that same kind of roundness that all head sculpts have. Um, and it's it's really an incredible head sculpt and chin sculpt that they put on there. So um, just wow to everything that they put here. But, you know, before diving into the head sculpt, I would just say that um, I am a sucker for custom 1-6 bodies. Um, and the reason I say that is... I guess I think of stuff like Spider-Man where they're using the same 1-6 body underneath over and over. And some companies out there use a very stereotypical company um, wide with a literal serial number A1-21 body type over and over and over. What we have in front of us comes across to me as very custom and new. You know, the way that... They put it together is great. The only reason I was hesitating for a second is there is a big piece that, you know, I keep hinting at that I don't like. So I, I say, let's get that out of the way. Um, and that is the way they've jointed the body um, at the bottom. Oh, sorry about that. The way they've jointed it at the bottom here. So let's go ahead and zoom in there. I guess it's a good segue to just get the bad out of the way. This is the only bad thing, right? Um, as we see here, it's like a... God, I don't want to say G.I. Joe, but it really just reminds me of one of those old school figures, the way they've jointed the body at the bottom here. Um, incredibly, incredibly lazy tactic that they've done. And I'm, I'm sure there's people out there going to go, oh, they did it because of this or they did it because of that. I'm sure over time, if they spent a couple more bucks, there was a better way to seamlessly connect that. But um, that right there is pretty atrocious. It kind of reminds me... Um, oh my god, look at the, the gap in there and stuff like that. Kind of reminds me if anybody knows what I'm going to say here. The, the Thanos, the first, first version. Um, the, the arm pieces, the way the joints went in there, it was just, um, this big gap kind of like this and it was it was pretty disappointing to this day and i've seen some mods on how to get rid of it um however on this thing i highly doubt there's going to be any mods to do that so very disappointing the way they've done that it was the only kind of lackluster piece there and you know as i say again it just it just really reminds me of a a black series gi joe type of figure the way the legs kind of hinge and connect to the body there so um, I feel like there's going to be some people out there that say that this is a good thing. However, I think that this is the absolute one downfall of the figure. All right, so now focusing back on the figure as a whole, this thing is incredible. There's a bunch of layers to this, and let's kind of digest them together, right? The cape. The cape, for starters, is amazing. The front of the cape, um, or dare we say, let's say the back of the cape. I want to say the front of it. Um, the back of it, the black part of it, um, is a kind of leather slash pleathery material. And the inside of it is more of a silk-ish uh, material. Separating the two is a wire. As you can see in the frame here, you can kind of create this wind effect with the cape um, however you want because the wire goes not only from the cowl and the neck it goes down and about throughout the whole thing um, so they've done an incredible job with the cape just absolutely outstanding um, dare i say i haven't seen too many two-tone capes you know as i'm looking at this and talking through it 
you know, the Arkham Knight and other series, um, as I say, I, I always kind of just wing these videos. There's no script. There's no rehearsing this. So um, anybody can yell at me right now. I'm not sure if the other Arkham Knight series had two-tone capes like this, but it just really pops out to me that this is a original slash two-tone cape that Hot Toys have done, and it is absolutely outstanding. Another quick note here would be the hands and the way they connect, um, you know, via the peg pieces was very easy. As I swapped these hands out, it was very easy, um, very seamless, the process versus, um, you know, and the reason I even mentioned this is So So Toys, Rorschach, very, very difficult. Even the headpiece, the, the hand pegs on that thing, and that, that was a high quality figure, so don't get me wrong, but it was very, very difficult switching those out. So um, they're clearly using higher quality stuff on this thing here. So incredible what they've done to just kind of make everything very seamless, easy, and the highest of quality, as always, by Hot Toys. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom into the face sculpt. This thing is incredible. I don't know about everybody else, but again, through the lens and in person, it's incredible. It actually has some depths and some tones to the skin that make it look very realistic, in my opinion. Of course, the eyes also look great. Um, on top of that, just the way the mask layers it and pulls it all in is just incredible. There's not just this simple mask. There's just this, some dimension to it. It just looks amazing. I wouldn't say it's a negative. One thing to note is if you look between the face, the neck, and the chest piece, the way the cape kind of layers on there... There's a slight sloppiness that kind of comes to mind. It's not horrible. You know, it's just there's something there that I wish they had connected a little bit better. Um, and the contrast was a little bit smoother, you know, between the two. Um, however, everything else is so great. I don't want to nitpick on it too much. Um, let's swing around to the back of this thing. Now, what they've done here with the transition between the hair and the head sculpt is genius, right? In the past, what we have is a hair to skin, and it just, in my opinion, does not work to this day. Wonder Woman, Gamora, um, uh, Wanda from Civil War, the way the eyes look and the face and the hair sculpt on it, it just looks and forgive me for saying this, it looks awful. It's almost like they're just they're looking through your body with the way their eyes are and like a Barbie doll just going like, Grr. it just is very weird and creepy looking and they have yet to perfect that technology. However, this one worked. The reason being is that there's a seamless transition between the hair underneath the mask and it covers it up. There's no hair to skin on this one. So I would say Hot Toys have done a very, very fantastic, great, amazing job at the way they've done hair to head sculpt um, for the first time ever. I think it works. Um, not only does I think it works, I couldn't imagine them have done it in any other way. If they did the uh, sculpted hair, I actually think it would have been crap in comparison to what we have in front of us. So very excited for the first time ever. Um, I'm trying to think of through my collection. I guess some Jokers I might have uh, rooted hair, but um, Batman and through a lot of my Marvel stuff, uh, for the first time ever, I think we have a rooted hair system that's done superb, and I hope we have some more stuff like this going forward in the future um, of how to make a better transition because right now, skin to hair <laughs> doesn't work very well. Now, they've given us a great stand with this figure. Um, the only thing that I'm going to start saying is that Soso is the king of stands, Soso Toys. Um, they officially have the highest quality stands on the market that are coming with one six scale. So it's interesting to see that um, officially licensed company like Hot Toys are still cutting corners with their stands because these ones still feel very hollow, like um, like a, just a hollow printed stand that they're they're just getting printed on a computer we can see eBay stands and Etsy stands and, uh, you know, third-party companies doing stands and printed stands way better quality and higher quality stands than what we see here. Um, so I'm kind of surprised that these are still the stands that we're coming with and they're not starting to change that up and give us a little more variety. Nonetheless, it does come with a stand and it fits well. The only interesting part that I would note as we're, again, rounding this out is the way the crotch grabber worked on this one. Um, I had to raise it higher than normal because of the 
crappy, you know, I shouldn't say crappy. Well, it is kind of crappy. The way the legs and um, peg pieces, again, connected at the bottom. So um, it's interesting because of the G.I. Joe old school connection at the bottom, the way this thing grabs. But it, it does work still, and it can give you an extra balance to the figure. Um, so, yeah, Stan was great. Now some of the accessories... All right, so we have two batterings, obviously the one that she has in hand and this one here. Pretty good quality to it, um, good paint job. It is just plastic, so it's not die cast or anything like that. We have another chin sculpt that comes here. This one's kind of like a, a grinning one. And then the chin sculpt is a very easy magnet connect system. I wish that they somehow figure out a magnet system for everything going forward. Uh, hands, feet to the stand, you know, because maybe there's a way to eliminate the peg in the back. So magnets through the feet and the stand on the bottom. Um, again, magnets on the hands and then head sculpt because recently the Doomsday, I kept calling them Reaver, but Re Reveller, Revealer, whatever the crap names they put there. Um, that one had a magnetic head sculpt and it was fantastic and very easy the way we were able to transition and take it on and off. We have this data pad here. I don't know if you can tell. I probably can't even zoom it in enough, but it, it really just is a map from the game. It looks like they've just pressed paused and printed a map, but um, pretty cool there. Beep, 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 beep. We have the grappling gun, and very high quality on the grappling gun. Um, the only reason I say that, it has some decent weight, um, so it's printed very well. Um, again, it's just plastic. It's not de uh, die cast or anything like that, but it just feels like some decent quality. If you can see, there's some cool weather into it, so they do a good job there. And lastly, this very flaccid um, goes to the grappling gun. I'm, I'm not really sure what the point of this is. Maybe you're supposed to grab something, but as you can see, it doesn't stay or anything like that, so... Um, I'm not really sure what the point of using this is, but because it wouldn't arch and shoot like this, so I don't know. Maybe somebody can correct me or figure out what the hell I'm doing wrong with this thing. But yeah, you have this flaccid grappling piece. So as we start to round everything out here, um, I just want to let everybody know that I do have a quick comparison slash side by side video to let everybody know this looks incredible um, side by side with the Batman Arkham Knight. So that video is up now. It's a quick video if you want to check that out. And they just look really great next to each other. And they just pair and contrast incredibly. I was really blown away by the quality, and again, as always, Hot Toys is stepping it up with their quality with every single figure. Um, a little bit of a downgrade with the way the, the legs connected on this one and the stand, as always. They haven't done anything new, um, something we've been getting it for, got 100 years now. Uh, but yeah, a little bit of extra time, I think there's would have been a better and more clever way to do a seamless leg transition. However, very, very excited to have this in my collection. So... As always, we're going to slap a score. Um, Batgirl, Arkham Knight, um, Batman series. This thing's incredible. I'm going to do it really quick because I've kind of felt it for the past 30 seconds as I've been talking. 8.7 out of 10. That's right. It's an 8.7 out of 10. This thing is incredible. It is up there um, with our figures as one of the best. Um, everything there is great. I think, again, shortcomings would have just been a better way to do those legs. That would have knocked up some score. Um, a little bit of a, a knockdown in points because of the way they did the transition of the, the cape and how it rested on the chest there. Um, it doesn't look horrible, but something just looks a little sloppy about it. But, man, incredible layers, contrast, the suit. It just looks tough. Um, it looks badass. We have some custom, custom body types. The head sculpt's amazing. Um, for the first time ever, I'm excited for real hair or whatever the hell it is, horse hair or whatever it is on the back there. They've done a fantastic job. Pretty good accessories. Um, weathering, a little bit of weathering throughout so you can see some scratches, some weatherings in the boots and stuff like that. Um, and then an outstanding stellar cape. So 8.7 out of 10. Casey Toys signing off. And I'm going to try to do a girl voice on this one because this is Batgirl. No reason to do a man voice. So, Casey Toys signing off. Batgirl Hot Toys. <laughs> huh? Huh?